So far, we have seen a couple of papers that tackle the challenge of converting 2D images to editable 3D scenes. One of them focuses on converting common everyday objects and the other one focuses on converting human pose. So today, I want to cover a paper that combines both these methods into a single framework. It is titled Perceiving 3D Human Object Spatial Arrangements from a Single Image in the Wild. Now, you might think that sounds like an easy task. Just run both the models sequentially. First, run the human detection model and then run the object detection model and then combine their outputs into the same 3D scene. As it turns out, that task is not so straightforward. You see, inferring the relative size and position of these objects with respect to each other within the same 3D space is still a big challenge due to the problems that arise from the loss of information when projecting 3D objects onto a 2D plane of an image. So, this is where the results from this paper really caught my attention. After inferring the usual 3D human estimates and the 3D object estimates, their method, abbreviated FOSA, is able to infer the correct spatial arrangement of the humans and the objects by learning about how humans interact with such objects in general. This means the model has been trained to learn about the relative sizes of different everyday objects with respect to the size of humans. It also learns information about the common interaction points on the human body such as hands and feet as well as that for the different objects. This ensures human bodies and the objects are not floating in air and are always in contact with each other at appropriate interaction points in the reconstructed 3D scene. To see a wide variety of frankly just incredible results from this paper, head over to the project page link in the description below. It is truly fascinating to see the progress made in extracting more and more information out of just good old 2D camera images with the help of AI and deep learning. I can't wait to see this research being applied to the game development industry.